I forgot the package. I'll be right back. The plan totally worked. Last night I had probably the best sleep that I've had in a few years. I hate feeling out of sorts. I hate not having things organized and I need to know if I'm making progress. I have a lot of flexibility as to when projects get accomplished or when items get turned in. Being scatterbrained, it's really important that I've developed systems or routines that will ensure that I'm on track. I've developed those for my work life. However, we don't have an overall strategy. How do I know at the end of the day that that day was productive? We look for indicators like, you know, are the items in the to-do list taken care of or how many unread emails, whatever those signals are. Today's my last day at home, I'm heading to Chicago tomorrow. So what I wanna do this evening is come up with a checklist, a list of items that I can look to to see whether or not that day was productive. However, those items are gonna have to wait. I need to send this package. Patty is a member of our Breakout EDU team. She has been amazing, so I'm finally getting around to sending her her very special breakout box. Forgot the package. Now I have the package. Ah, so frustrated right now. So somebody has been stealing packages off our porch. We've known about the issue for a while. The one that bothers me the most is the one that happened today, or I think happened today. So I didn't see it, but I got a text message from Amazon saying my zombie stickers and my whiteout were delivered. More on the zombie stickers some other time. Then I went out to the porch, no package. There's a small chance that those are actually in the mailbox, but I'm 95% sure they were just stolen. More frustrating than others because we were here. Last week, I wasn't in town, and I got a notification while out of town that a package had been delivered, and I thought I didn't have any coming, but it was one of those, you know, automatic Amazon deliver this every two months package. And I just knew nothing was gonna survive that porch for, for, for that week. We got home, it was gone. Fair enough. I mean, not fair enough, it was stealing, but still. I think we need to move our address to a P.O. box have all the Amazon packages shipped to a locker. There's a locker at the local grocery store that I can just go pick it up from. All of my initial thoughts were, oh, I have to come up with some system to catch the person, maybe put an empty package on there, say we know you're stealing them, or install a camera. The only problem with that solution is they draw more attention to our specific house. And I don't want to do that. So I don't know. Need to, we need to figure it out. Liz just got home, time to take a break, time to go run. What makes a successful day? Metrics for success. All right, so we're gonna do a brainstorm today. Think about it live with it for the week, then come back and iterate, maybe make some iterations before. So, successful day. All right, number one, I think it's important to make the bed. Making the bed is good because it starts the day with something successful. You'll end the day arriving at something where you've previously succeeded, so it's kind of a nice little symmetry. Number two, I think eating a healthy breakfast. I think this will be probably the biggest challenge when on the road, but I think it's super important. I wanna do a 10 minute reflection. A 10 minute reflection every day, that way I have time to think about, you know, what I wanna do that day, how to be successful, make sure that I don't just jump in and find myself in this crazy day where nothing, you know, I, I just hate arriving at the end of the day, not having done something. Number four would be achieving inbox zero. Inbox zero doesn't mean I've responded to every email, it just means I've processed my email. I just wanna be able to say I've gone through the email and moved everything to whether a to-do list or discarded it. Before that, I probably should 
set daily priorities. Being able to think about, okay, what do I want to accomplish within that day? Let's do something very specific, push-ups. It'd be great if I could do push-ups and let's say ab every day. And I want to put in the, the cardio. Though I plan to be running most days, you can't run every day. It's not very good. So I think, you know, on the days that I don't run, making sure I get out for a walk. If the beginning of the day includes making the bed and starting with a reflection, I think it'd be good if there was some sort of ritual or habit that happened at the end of the day. And this may sound a little weird, is drinking a glass of water, having an organized bedroom. Because I spend the majority of my nights not at home, I'm putting this on there because it's really easy when you're in a hotel room to just kind of throw things at the suitcase and create these piles and it just leads up to having a very frenetic or a disorganized morning. So I think, I'm, I'm guessing it was inspired by my visit to Japan, but really just having a zen, having a space, having a center. I think I'll start with those eight. I, I think this is a, is a good eight. So kind of the daily eight. This is so weird. Vlog over.